Hi, Lori Birch here, your go-to wills and trusts attorney. The law when it comes to the legal rights for LGBTQ Texans is continually evolving. So it's very important that you get the right legal advice when it comes to protecting yourself and your family. So here are three of many mistakes LGBTQ couples and families should never make. First, one of the biggest mistakes that LGBTQ couples make is assuming that they just don't need wills or powers of attorney or any legal planning now that we have marriage equality. Wrong. While that was an awesome decision that gave legal recognition to these couples and to these families, it did not create automatic rights when it comes to your estate, who can make financial decisions, medical decisions, or even when it comes to your children. Your family can still fight your legal spouse. I would argue it's even more important now to have this legal planning in place because with this decision has come a lot of hostility when it comes to financial institutions, medical facilities, and even courts with a backlash to the Supreme Court decision. Another huge mistake the LGBT community makes when it comes to legal planning is trying to do this online or with attorneys who do not know our specific needs or our rights. I see many online forums and even attorneys that only recommend very basic legal planning. But when it comes to couples and families that don't have full legal recognition, you cannot take any shortcuts. Remember, your spouse does not have automatic rights. Here are some examples of some other planning you should have. One is called a declaration of guardian in the event of later incapacity, Alzheimer's, dementia, where you can pick who you want to make decisions, whether it's living decisions or your care or financial decisions so that your family cannot battle your partner or spouse, even if they have a medical power of attorney or financial power of attorney. Another important document to have is my favorite title, Appointment of Agent to Control Disposition of Remains. If it's not super clear from that title, this is allowing you to choose who you want to handle any sort of funeral, burial, or cremation. Also, without consulting an experienced attorney, you're not gonna be aware of other precautions you may need. For example, a revocable living trust instead of a will. A revocable trust allows you to avoid probate court, have more privacy because where a will is a public record, a trust is not, and a living trust can even help prevent challenges. Finally, one of the biggest mistakes that LGBTQ families can make is assuming that just being on a birth certificate gives you legal rights. As crazy as it sounds, that is not how it works in Texas. Putting a spouse or a partner on a birth certificate does not establish any parental rights and it does not establish guardianship if the birth parent passes away. Legal planning, such as adoptions and wills with guardianships must be put in place. Lack of planning can put a surviving non-birth parent powerless in the face of family challenges and legal barriers. Look, I know that it does not seem fair that we have to jump through these extra hoops just to have the same legal rights that other people take for granted. But until we achieve full equality, it is crucial that we take any and all legal precautions available to ensure that we are protecting ourselves and our families. For even more information, click on the link provided for a free article on the top five mistakes LGBTQ Texans should never make. And feel free to reach out for a complimentary consultation. Because if you don't have a will, the state of Texas has one for you.